have no idea what's going on. I just know that I'm getting into some reality show. It's supposed to be like real world. I finally see the house. I'm like, mmm, okay. And I walk in. Come on in, right through that front door. There's a guy standing there, and he's not wearing modern day clothes, so I have no idea what to think. She hails from Indiana, the show me state. Oh God. Jamie, your bio says you love making people laugh. Say something hilarious. Uh, I'm not getting it. Hey, go grab a seat in the living room. As I'm looking around the house, Looks like it's um, old shag carpet with the ugly green color. I thought they'd be living in like a really cool mansion that's just like all decked out, but it just isn't. I'm so confused right now. I have no idea what I just got myself into. These kids don't know it yet, but they're about to go back in time. Because when they step through the front door of this house, they'll be trapped in the 1970s. Everything they do, say, eat, and wear has to be from the 70s. Or they get kicked out. And the one person who becomes the most 70s wins some groovy prizes. Who will survive the 70s house? My name is Joey. I was hoping that it would be like in the woods on the beach and we'd be like in little shacks and stuff. Straight from Pennsylvania, let's all say hi de ho to the strapping Taurus, Joey. <laughs> How do you intend to grow as a person? Uh, I'm growing bored. Hey, Joey, hit the living room. I thought it was weird, but I, I didn't really know what was going on at all. Wow. Look at this place, man. Let's throw a big kiss. To Linda and Corey. I'm Corey and I'm from Seal Beach and I'm here to like have a good time and meet new people. Lovely Linda likes picking up things with her toes. When I was walking up the door, I was thinking this show's probably just gonna be like flat screens on the walls and a jacuzzi already bubbling when I get here. I have no clue what's gonna happen. Hey, hey, Haley is an 18 year old Pisces, 23 year old Aquarius Peter loves to cook and gets homesick for his mom. When I walk through the door, I'm like, huh? What? What is this about? This house is mad <laughs> old. Come on in. It's the hottest trio this side of Rush. My name is Sarah. I'm here to meet some people, and I'm I'm here to win whatever the prize is. Now, who's Ruben? Me. Currently unemployed. At first, I actually thought I was going to maybe be on road rules. <laughs> Man. And then there's Geo right here. Once worked as a video game tester. I love that asteroids. The colors are ugly. The furniture. <sighs> Oh my God. Lee is a park and rec assistant and a basketball fanatic. My name is Lee. I'm from Washington, D.C. This house kind of reminds me of the Brady Bunch. As I'm looking around the house, I just start noticing this is really kind of crappy stuff. Wow. Last, but certainly not least, it's sweet little Ashley. I'm a hippie at heart, so I'm totally free, and I'm just, I love everyone. Hi. 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 So we're sitting there, just all kind of talking, and then all of a sudden, yoo-hoo! Hi! My name's Dawn. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Dawn. How you doing, funky people? Hi. <laughs> Dawn. What to say about Dawn? I guess she's like the queen bee of the house. Now, when you stepped through that door, you traveled <laughs> way, way back. Oh, Lord. Back to a time where there's no cell phones. Oh, God, no. No internet. Please no. be kidding. Paris Hilton, 50 Cent, <laughs> George W. Bush. Welcome to the 1970s. From this moment on, everything you do, everything you say, everything you eat is going to be totally 70s or you're out. It scares me a little. That wasn't really the competition I was expecting to do. If you can't be true to the era, we're going to have to ask you to split. But if you can survive all the challenges and prove that you're the most 70s, one far out individual is going to go back to 2005 with some pretty heavy prizes. Isn't that right, Bert? Thanks, Dawn. The last cat standing in the 70s house will receive an incredible array of products from HP. The winner will also take home 2005's new Beetle. And finally, that one groovy individual will be sent on the ultimate European vacation courtesy of STA Travel. That's if you win the whole shebang.
Back to you, Dawn. Do you dig? We're getting really pumped up, and in my head I'm thinking, I'm all up for a challenge. It's a competition, I'm here to win. Okay, we're gonna learn how to talk the talk. When Dawn pulls out the chalkboard, I'm like, oh no. That's tight becomes... Groovy. Punk ass bitch becomes... <laughs> yeah, Drop it like it's hot becomes... Shake your booty. As in shake your booty. I didn't realize how serious all the lingo was and how hard it would be to, you know, use it. OK, kitties. I hate to be the heavy, but I'm going to have to ask you to cut some of your stash loose. As in all modern products. I need all your cell phone thingamajigs, wireless whatchamacallits, any modern products, Watch. everything. Watch. Any modern products are going to go in this basket, and then they're going to go in the 2000 closet. You got to put it in. Got to put oh. it in. Everything. I don't know about this. My iPod's like my sanity. Don't worry. We have eight tracks. Where's your laptop? Put it in here. Oh, oh God. No. Computer. Oh, my God. My cell phone is literally like my child. It doesn't leave my side. I keep it right by my bosom. Girls, I need all your modern skin and hair care products. My makeup? I don't know what I can do without my makeup. Don't worry, chicas. In the 70s, we have a shampoo called, gee, your hair smells terrific. Oh. Endless summer. <laughs> Everything. Come oh, on. CDs, right? Everything. Oh, One more thing. Those clothes. Don't worry. Mama's going to put you into some cool threads. Yes. Senoritas, are you ready? When she opens up the closet, it was, it was, I just, I can't even. Don opens these doors and my jaw drops. These clothes hanging there are not cute. Oh, you girls are going to look so hot. I just kept thinking, please God, no. The outfit that Dawn picks out for me is horrendous. I get a tent dress, a brown tent dress. Are we allowed to share clothes? Yeah. OK, foxes, check you out soon. Hey! When Dawn opens the closet and I look, I'm like, dude, this is not cool. No, they'll give us more outfits. I didn't want to wear any of those clothes. I'd rather just walk around in my boxes. No, don't be trying to steal my steal my style. Here's some feet and shoes. The polyester isn't so friendly to the body. A little witchy. Funky man. Funky man. Give me a sign. You're gonna be mine. Now shake. I really think the guys looked better than the girls. Some of the girls' stuff really wasn't that attractive. Oh. I want her outfit. Oh, come on. You guys look great. Think you're ready to uh, shake what your mama gave you? Oh. When you hear the sound. I don't care what you're doing, if you're playing Pong or watching Gilligan's Island or sleeping, I want you to stop whatever you're doing, get up, and do the hustle, or else. I don't dance. Music! So the hustle is, um, it's difficult for me. Do the hustle! One, two, three, do the and back. Two, three, side spin. <laughs> Woo! I hate it. I'm going to take you on a tour all of right. our pad. Follow me. Don chose all our rooms. They all looked really 70s. Let's gather around. Right here, we have a state-of-the-art entertainment system. I have never seen an 8-track in my entire life until today. Who's hungry? Right here, we have Wonder Bread. Oh, here's something. This is good. Fish chowder. Mm. And what's amazing about this is it, you just put it on the stove, and it's a whole meal. No microwave. 
That kind of sucks. In case anyone needs to make a phone call, a very handy telephone. This is quite modern, actually. I noticed it had a cord on it and the little dial where you dial the number. <laughs> oh, God. Welcome to my shag room. We sit down, it's kind of serious. And then we see that little box. Listen, mellow people, here's the skinny. You're gonna get your assignments from the man. His name is Oscar, and you're never gonna meet him face to face, but just remember, he's always watching all the time. That kind of scares me. Oscar is big brother, big brother is watching you. Hi, Oscar. Good morning, gang. Good, Good morning, morning. I hope everyone's having a groovy time in my pad. Well, let me remind you, this is a competition. By the end of the night, one of you will keep on trucking out the front door. Oh. Your first assignment is a friendly game of basketball. However, this contest is not about your athletic skills. It's about being the most 70s. I've chosen two team captains. Lee, you'll be captain of the Rollers. I'm really excited. I love basketball. I felt very confident. Joey, you're captain of the Dino Mites. Yeah! Whichever team scores the least points will be up for elimination. Oh. Remember, I'm always watching you. Good luck, gang, and have a nice day. Now, the uniforms. OK. Oh, My favorite oh, part. Yeah! The uniforms are real tight, the shorts, you know, it couldn't get any shorter. Going out in public in those outfits, I'd be pretty embarrassed. Socks! We rolled Don's van. The van is straight 70s, 70s pimp ride. The blue team, we're squishing this old station wagon. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. This car is tore up. <laughs> Our challenge is to go play basketball. Okie dokie, artichokies. Let's cruise on inside and play yeah. some game ball. Wait, wait, wait. One more thing. Uh, you're not playing against each other. And I'm like, huh? Oh. One more thing. Uh, you're not playing against each other. Have fun! Don opens the door, and then there's a gym full of kids. There's cheerleaders. And as soon as we walk in, they just start going, <laughs> We're all deer in the headlights. The 70s uniforms. It's like, oh, no, very tight. <laughs> And then shoes. Ah, some ankle breakers, man. Everybody's laughing at us. I'm embarrassed as heck because I got like a wedgie. Twist time. We're gonna be playing this freaking all-star like state champ. And we see these big basketball kids all in green. <laughs> we are in trouble. One, two, three, roll! The rollers play first. We can't even get down the court without them stealing the ball from us. So. <laughs> Corey falling on his ass. This is a bummer. I'm just sick of the public humiliation. The other team was just like mowing them down. The team that loses by the most points is the team that loses overall. Okay, the rollers scored no points. And then so we were like, if we get one basket, like we're golden. First point, you know what I mean? I was like, yes, it's over. We both
Rollers got beat, but... The main objective was to do better than the Rollers, which we did. I'm pretty scared. There's a huge chance that one or two of my teammates are gonna be eliminated. It's somber on the drive home, but we're all still just having fun with each other. Yes! Eight. Eight. Are you that worried about getting home? Yeah. Really? I'm gonna be one of those people who has Botox, peels. <laughs> We're about to hear Oscar, and I'm completely nervous because I'm the leader, and my team just lost. OK, cats. Let's see what the man has to say. Hi, Oscar. Welcome back, gang. Hey, Oscar. All of you played your hearts out and had groovy team spirit. And that's what being 70s is truly about. But the team that scored the most points against their 2005 competitors was the Dynamites. You're the winners. We've got a real 70s treat for you, a fondue party. I have the slightest clue what fondue is. You kids go celebrate in the kitchen. Skedaddle. Okay. All right, rollers, I hate to lay a head trip on you, but all six of you are on the chopping block, and I've chosen two of you to go on to the elimination round. Andrew, your team lost the game, but this contest isn't about basketball skills. It's about being true to the era. While you were rapping to the opposing team, you said, that was freaking awesome. You guys are some ballers. Good game, guys. You guys are freaking awesome. You guys are some ballers, man. Well, awesome is 80s lingo, and ballers is straight out of the terrible 2000s. I'm sorry to be a downer, Andrew, but you're going to the elimination round. Geo, you may have learned to talk the talk, but it's a bummer how hung up you are on 2000 technology. In the kitchen, you said you want Botox treatments. I'm gonna be one of those people who has Botox, peels. <laughs> but the product called Botox wasn't created until the late 80s. Sorry to be a downer, Geo, but you're going to the elimination round. Job dead. Here it is. Voila. Take off the lid. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. It looks like that. Yo, I'm on a diet. I'm fine. <laughs> Are you kidding? You're not going to have any? I don't even know what it tastes like, man. It tastes like no cheese I ever tasted. This is a fond don't. I'm walking up the stairs, and I see. Hi. Nurse Don, please report to elimination stack. Don was in a totally different outfit. Gentlemen, have a seat. I don't know if it's gonna be like a mental challenge or we're gonna have to eat roaches or something. Dr. Geo, Dr. Andrew. Prepare! Oh. Oh. Competition was operation. Prepare to operate. Oh my, oh my God. God. I knew I had this in the bag. Each of you is going to get one chance to remove as many bones as you can during your turn before setting off the... The buzzer. Whoever removes the most bones during their turn gets to stay. If you mess up the operation, you lose the entire competition. Andrew, you're first. Prepare to operate. Geo, gotta beat five. Definitely. Or later, skater. Did I really just do that? Sorry, Geo. It's okay. 
Bye, guys. Bye. It was really great meeting you. As I'm leaving the house, the one thing that's clear is that this game is serious. It's so long. The way we're talking, the way we're acting, everything is under a magnifying glass. I'm not sad that Gio's leaving at all. I'm just happy that I'm still in the game. This is a competition. This isn't a friendship. What did I get myself into? What the hell is this? This is like a bad dream and I need to wake up. I really have no idea what to expect. Next time on The 70s House, it's time to disco, baby. The dudes are out of sight, but will the chicks get their groove together in time? I'm not getting this because I'm not, we're not. And in the elimination, two kids face Jimmy Dynamite Walker as he tests their 70s knowledge. What's happening? Uh, Next time on The 70s House.